Recently, I've been wondering if it would be possible to bend metal using nothing but a 3D printer, given that metal bending machines do exist out there, but I just don't have one, or the money to buy one, because they're ridiculously expensive. Anyways, back to the point. In my quest to build the butterfly from the show Arcane, I ran into some trouble because I need to bend to this brass to go around this wing and have holes in the brass at certain locations so that the holes in this wing line up and I can put screws through them. Now doing that all freehand has been quite a terrible experience given that I've been trying to drill the holes beforehand with a template, a paper template that I made, and then trying to wrap the brass around something round. I mean, it is soft and it does bend, but it's quite difficult to get repeatable results, especially trying to get the holes to align with themselves and then with the model is a whole nother problem. And it just takes hours of work to do one wing, which it shouldn't take that long. It's frustrating. So I'm going to make a metal press. Now these are the kinds of things that in industry I used to take giant eight by four foot pieces of steel and bend them into the bodies of cars. But mine will be just a little bit weaker and it'll allow me to get accurate and repeatable results. I know the final shape I want my bracket to be in. So I'm thinking that the press will have to look something like this. With the brass sitting inside. That's the final shape of the brass. It's going to start off looking like this, be a flat piece. And it sits inside the press on this edge of the bottom piece. So that when it gets smashed together, it looks like the image on the left. These two pieces are going to have to interact somehow. And I'm thinking that the top piece is going to slide into the bottom one. So the bottom piece is going to have to have a wall here. And the top piece is going to have a wall here. Same on the other side. So that it ends up looking something like this. And I'm going to have to allow a tolerance between these pieces of at least... 0 0.01 inches because that's the thickness of the brass and then 0.2 millimeters on either side of all moving pieces so that includes this area and this area and I'm also going to have to add the holes so there's the bottom piece with a cross-sectional view it looks like this there's that ledge and the holes are gonna have to be here and here I'm going to have to figure out the measurements for that in CAD. Now let's see if this actually works. And I can't take it apart. Great. In addition to adding more tolerance between the two moving pieces, I also went ahead and added little nubs or places to grip the two pieces so that I could actually separate them this time as well as holes along the bottom piece so that if the brass ever did get stuck inside of it that I could push it out from the back.
This is version two, and thankfully it goes together and comes apart easily. That's not only because I added more tolerance, but because of these handles. And this is the size of the brass piece that will get smushed. And I'll go do that in a vise. Just put it in here, like so, and then put the top piece in, and then just, and it should come out bent, hopefully. Here's the press with the brass in it. I'm just gonna put it in the vise and see how it goes. There's a little bit of resistance and then, oh, it just gives. And I think that's it. Well, definitely looked like it bent. Now the problem is trying to get it out. And that's why I put those holes there. One second. Yes. Yes. Well, that's definitely a bracket. Now I've got a nice C shape to it. And now I just have to drill the holes. Of course it doesn't align. Well, I guess I'll have to do a version 3. Here's version 3. Hopefully the holes line up this time. This is why I made the handles built in. Come on. Yes, everything lines up. So the final answer to the question is that you can bend metal with 3D printers. Just uh, might take you a few tries. <laughs>